there was a question asked that how we can reduce the headspace oxygen in the field while in sterile injectable product so let's understand the answer so if you have very stringent controls in your headspace oxygen in field vials then you should really think of the entire manufacturing process as a whole how you are going to control your oxygen in your product so right from the start from the manufacturing of the product so when we are manufacturing our sterile bulk injectable during manufacturing you have to bring down the dissolved oxygen in your wo5 before manufacturing the product as well as once you complete your manufacturing you should purge enough nitrogen to bring the dissolved oxygen to a certain level for example if you keep limit this is just an example limit that if you keep limit of dissolved oxygen like less than 2 ppm then how you are going to achieve it and of course these values or this process has to be um accepted by r and d or should be developed by the r and d team who is developing the product so what you should consider during your product development or during manufacturing process once you collect your water for injection for the manufacturing you should purge nitrogen at the very beginning to bring down the dissolved oxygen level to a certain level for example 2 2 ppm what i just said then you should manufacture the batch like adding the materials your excipients your api in a different in the defined sequence as per your product <clears throat> and you should ensure that you are purging the nitrogen during after each step to keep the oxygen levels dissolved oxygen levels minimal during your manufacturing process and once you finish your manufacturing process then you should purge the nitrogen for certain amount of time to bring the dissolved oxygen requirement as per the defined limit for example 2 ppm once you complete the manufacturing and your dissolved oxygen is less than 2 ppm then you should make sure that the head space in your sterile manufacturing vessel in your manufacturing vessel should be covered by nitrogen you should have a nitrogen blanket on on, on a head space in your manufacturing vessels when you are filtering the product either through peristaltic pump or through the pressure if you are if you are going to filter it through pressure you should filter it through nitrogen pressure if you are using pump then you should make sure that your filtration vessel sterile filtration vessel where you are going to filter your product is purged with nitrogen it said it should have nitrogen inside the sterile filtration vessel it should be filled with nitrogen when you start filtration and once you finish the filtration you should blanket the sterile filtration vessel with nitrogen and you should make sure that there is enough pressure maintained inside through nitrogen pressure so that no oxygen or no no oxygen there there is no oxygen atmosphere inside your sterile filtration vessel now this is the take this is the steps which you need to take care during manufacturing and filtration and there are certain steps you should you should consider during your filling process to keep the head space inside your filled container at minimum so what are those steps for example we are filling the product in vials then in your filling machine what you should do you should first purge the empty vials with nitrogen then you should fill the product in such a way that there should not be much of the splashing there should not be much of the bubbles generated why if you do so much of splashing while filling then there is a possibility that it will splash and can interact with the atmospheric oxygen and oxygen content get increase in your product so should, the filling should be such that there is minimal of splashing uh, there is specific kind of needle is there splitted end needles which ensures that while you are filling there is a, a splashing can be prevented or splashing can be minimized <coughs> to use such kind of needle while filling there is a possibility possibility through design on a filler that while you are doing the filling nitrogen can be purged at an angle while filling at a, at a slow rate so it it will not impact your filling space but nitrogen can be purged while filling as well also after you fill just before stoppering you should purge the space with nitrogen so that any air which is 
which might have entered in your in your head space after feeling just before stopping in the pathway that air can be removed with nitrogen so you should purge the head space with nitrogen just before stopping there is also engineering design possible that just before stopping the nitrogen needle can can come at an angle and purge the nitrogen inside the vial and then then you just stopper it completely and then seal it so by this process steps purging the empty vials with nitrogen filling the vials slowly avoiding splashing possibility that while filling you can purge nitrogen as well at an angle and then purging the nitrogen just before stoppering will prevent outside air going inside and you can control your head space oxygen that way reduce the head space oxygen to a certain limit there is also possibility to, to have nitrogen tunnel in your wall pathway such that that <clears throat> Your empty vials goes through nitrogen tunnel. Then after filling again, it goes through nitrogen tunnel, and just and just before uh, after stop just before stoppering, you can purge the nitrogen through needles, and then you can stopper the vials and seal the vials. So considering these specific steps, so controlling the dissolved oxygen at the manufacturing stage, providing nitrogen blanket in manufacturing vessel, filtration through nitrogen pressure, providing the or nitrogen blanket infiltration vessel and then controlling the nitrogen purging the nitrogen in empty vials while filling and while stoppering you can control your head space oxygen in your field product so i hope this small video will help you understand how you can control the nitro uh, how you can control uh, dissolved oxygen in your product thank you thank you very much for watching my full video thank you